an object is s meters from the origin after t seconds, the relation between s, which is the distance, and t is given by this equation. Okay, so s as a function of time is given to be t cube minus 3t squared. Okay, so there are four questions we need to answer. The distance, the object travels, the object from the origin when t is 2 seconds. So the question is, what is s? First, let's understand the questions first. What is s when t is equal to 2? That's the first question. Okay. The second question is, what is the initial velocity? So the second question is, what is v? What is v when t is equal to 0? Initial means in, uh, when t is 0. The acceleration when t is equal to 4. So what is acceleration? What is acceleration when t is equal to 4 seconds? And how long does it take for the object to return to its starting point? So what is t when s is equal to 0? In other words, s is equal to 0 means it's at the origin, at the starting point, the distance it travels is 0. So let's look at the function. So s, which is distance, is given by this equation, which is t cubed minus 3t squared. Okay. So what does this mean? So uh, we want to find the distance when the time was 2 seconds. So the question is, what is S? So let me do first question S. Sorry, question A. What is S? What is S when T is? Say 2 seconds. Okay, so let us put this back in this equation. So S is equal to 2 cube minus 3 times Two squared, just like that. So this is eight minus three times what? Three times four. So which is eight minus twelve. So your distance is minus four meters. A minus four meters distance. It does make sense in physics or in science. It means the object is the object. The object is either is either 4 meters below or to the left of origin below or to the left of the uh, origin to the left of origin so minus means it is either to the left or below the starting point or origin the SPL right SP the starting point or the origin so we answered the first question. So let us look at the next question, question B. What is the initial velocity? Now velocity is a gradient function. Velocity is ds by dt. Or velocity or instant, instantaneous velocity is change in distance. So this is nothing but the change in distance. S is the distance and t is the time. So this is change in s or change in distance over change in time. So if you know the function of distance with respect to time, and if you differentiate that fun function, if you differentiate this, which is in terms of s, you find velocity. Okay, so let's write s. So v is equal to, let's differentiate this, so drop the power down, so this is 3t squared minus 3 times 2 times t. Drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So velocity is as a function of t is 3t squared minus 60. So this is your velocity. The question is what is the velocity when t is equal to 0? So and what is the velocity or what's the initial velocity or this is called the initial velocity when t is equal to 0? So the velocity would be uh, what is the velocity? Oh the initial velocity. So the initial velocity is 0. Is zero meters per second. Okay, it started with zero meters per second. So if you put zero into this, this will become zero, and this is also zero. So the initial velocity is uh, zero meters. Okay, so it it is starting at rest. So you can say the body is at rest, or you can say when t is zero, when the when t is zero, the body is at rest, or the object is at rest. The object is 
at rest. These are some technical words we need to be familiarized. Okay, so the third question is, what is the acceleration when v is equal, so when t, t is equal to 4 seconds? Okay, so acceleration, acceleration you have learned is change in velocity, change in v, or change in the velocity over change in time. So in calculus we say the same thing in terms of derivative. So this is dv by dt. Acceleration is dv by dt. So let's write v as a function of t. That is 3t squared minus 60. So acceleration is equal to dv by dt. So differentiating this, again drop the power down. So this is 3 times 2t to the power 1 minus, here drop the power down. So this is 60 to the power 0. So this is nothing but 60 minus 6. Am I right? So this becomes 1. So this is 60. This is 3 times 2 is 60 minus t. So acceleration as a function of t is 60 minus 6. So the question is, what is the acceleration when t is equal to 4 seconds? Okay, so t is equal to 4. So let us put t equal to 4 in this equation. So acceleration would be 6 times 4 minus 6, which is 24 minus 6, which is 18 meters per second squared. Now this, I, as students of science or physics, you should know this is 18 meters per second means this is the velocity is changing 18 meters every second. So it is 18 meters per second per second. Okay, so in other words, the velocity of this object is increasing 18 meters per second every second. Okay, and how long does the object start from its, sorry, how long does it take for the object to return to its starting point? So the question is, last question, what is t, so this is question number d, or question d, what is t when s is equal to 0? When does s becomes 0? Okay, so how would you do that? Okay, so yeah, so let us do, so let's write the function, s is equal to, what's the function in terms of t? t cubed minus 3t squared, 3t cubed minus, Am I right? Sorry, t cubed minus 3t squared. t cubed minus 3t squared. This is t cubed minus 3t squared. So this is a bit algebraic. There is no differentiation here. So the question is, what is, what are the time when it returns back? So I'm going to put 0 here, and I'm going to factorize this. So if you factorize t, or you can factor out t squared, you've got t minus 3. Okay, so you can say t is equal to 0, or t squared is equal to 0, or t minus 3 equal to 0. So let's make sense of what this answer is. So when t is equal to 0, and when t is equal to 3, it has come back to the, to the starting point. So in other words, if you graph this, okay, if you, just to give you a graphical understanding, this object is starting at the starting point, then it's going backwards and coming back. So let me show you that on a calculator. If you graph this, so this is the equation, so let me type this. So this is x cubed minus 3x squared. I need to change my scale. I'll go from, say, 0 to 5 seconds, scale of 0.5, and here I'll go from minus 5 to plus 5, just to show you what's scale of 1. So this is, let me scroll back, at 0, at 0 it's at 0. And at 4, this is, say, uh, this is, this is the function of t. So this is, so let me go at a scale of 1. Scale of instead of point fall, let me take it one. So can you see this is one second? At this graph means at t is equal to zero, 
the graph the object is at the starting point then it's going backwards or down that means it's a negative distance the negative distance so shows the object is a, either has gone to the left or it has gone down so it is say it has gone down it reaches the lowest point or to the farthest to the left and this is one second this is two second and this is the three seconds so g solve and find the root okay so when t is equal to zero s is zero and then if you scroll this can you see when t is three seconds it has come back to the starting point so how long does it, it take for return to the starting point it takes three seconds so at time zero it is at the starting point then it got went down or to the left and is coming back so your answer should be three seconds after three seconds it is it has come back to the starting point right.